Hey everyone, Triple Dice here, and in this video I'm gonna give you 9 quick beginner tips for New World. I've been playing this game the last couple of days, and I must say I am finally enjoying playing an MMORPG again. I always kept on playing World of Warcraft because no other game ever beat that for me, but now, with New World, I think it's going to finally happen. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Tip number 1. Early respec. When you are below level 20, you can respec your attribute and weapon points as often as you'd like. It will only take a couple of seconds, so make sure to do this so you can test out many different builds and weapon skills. After you become level 20, respecking will start to cost you some gold, and this cost will increase as you level up. Tip number 2. Salvaging gear. There is no NPC vendor in game where you can sell your stuff to. The way to sell your gear is to salvage it. You can do this anytime you want and it's a very easy process. Salvaging will get you some gold and some repair parts, which brings us to tip number 3. Repairing your gear. Luckily this is very easy to do. Just open your inventory and click on repair all. It will cost you some gold and repair parts, but that's it. This is also why salvaging all your unwanted stuff is very important. Also, you don't have to be in town to repair your gear. You can do this from anywhere. Tip number 4. How to dye your gear. Also a very easy process in this game. Open your inventory, click on any gear part and click dye. This will open up a new menu that allows you to change the color of your current gear. Just make sure you have enough dyes left in your inventory. A quick side tip, in the current beta you can buy some coloring packs from the store, since all of us have received some free store currency. Check it out! Tip number 5. How to get fish fillet. At some point you're gonna get some quests to hand in fish fillet. The only way to get these is to just go catch a lot of fish and then salvage them in the same way we just talked about salvaging gear. Salvaging fish will give you different kinds of fish fillet based on the quality of the fish. It took me a few days to find this out myself, so I thought I'd mention it here. Tip number 6. Automatic obstacle jump. This option is initially turned off because this is all personal preference, but I like it and never turned it off again. It allows your character to jump over obstacles automatically, instead of you having to press jump. Pretty handy if you ask me. Tip number 7. Floating damage numbers. This option is turned on by default, and there is really nothing wrong with it. If you turn it off, you will still see the damage numbers, but instead of floating around, they will stick to the enemy's health bar. For me personally, that looks much better, it gives a more clean look. Tip number 8. Extra cooldown timer. If you don't like looking at the bottom right of your screen to keep track of your cooldowns, there is another option you can turn on that will help with this. In the gameplay menu, go to show extra ability cooldowns and turn it on. Now as you can see, there is an extra cooldown timer added in the middle of the screen. I personally don't like it, but I know many of you will. Tip number 9. One button weapon swap. Instead of binding two buttons to control your weapons, why not just leave it at one? Since you can only equip two weapons at any time, I think one button to just swap between them should be enough. Go to the key bindings menu and bind swap active weapons to a very pleasant key. I know this is personal preference as well, but it made my life just a bit easier. Alright, that's it for this video guys. I hope these tips were helpful to you and if so, please leave a like on the video. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.